Hello, my name is Katherine Fecto. I'm the assistant curator here at Old Sturbridge Village, and I'm here in our collection storage building where we have our new beautiful compact shelves. Earlier this evening, you heard from our director of curation, Caitlin Avenia, and she talked about the different ways that we use our objects to teach about um, histories, particularly underrepresented histories. We have, for example, an engraving by Patrick Henry Reason based on Josiah Wedgwood's medallion that says, Am I not a man and a brother? Reason was an engraver in New York. He had a successful career as an engraver. He was a black man. He was an abolitionist. And so this engraving gives us a window to talk about abolition, um, racism in the 19th century, and the lives of free people of color as well. We also have a great beaded purse done by a native craftsperson in the Niagara Falls area, which is part of a larger history of crafts that native people made to sell to tourists in the Niagara Falls area in the mid 19th century. So this object connects us to Native American histories, Native American crafts, um, social and political histories in the mid 19th century, and tourism as well. So there's a lot of great opportunities we have for educating using our objects. COVID forced us to think about new and different ways to make our collection accessible to the public, since our gallery spaces have to be closed for the time being. So one of the great ways we've been able to do that is through the 3D tours. We were able to populate some of the village buildings with objects that normally live here in storage. For example, you can now see Hervey Brooks pots on display in the pottery shop. Another great way we've been able to do that is through curatorial pop-up programs on the weekends where uh, different members of the staff bring objects out and put them on display in the entryway of the Salem townhouse, which makes portions of the collection that normally are here in storage accessible to the public as well. So I want to thank you donors very much. Your continued support makes it possible for us to present our collection to the public in these challenging times and also make sure that it's preserved and here for visitors in the future.